wish to inform me what's happened to my wife. Donna Armida suffered a dog fight. They're both bad dogs. Darling, Army, what have you been doing to yourself? She's so pale. Twelve stitches for mum. Yes, Uncle. Uncle, look what he did to me. It was Malavita. How could you say the word? Let me deal with Malavita. Don't take offence, but I've promised myself I'll take care of you. Boys! Army, darling. Yes. Something you must tell me, and you too. If Malavita has to die, it'll only take one gun. That gun will be mine. You will carry the scar on your left breast. Where will I carry my scar? On your heart. Malavita is our guard dog, our watchman. He protects our estate, our family, and our chickens. Army darling, you provoked. Malavita, put away your gun. The dog was perfectly justified in attacking you. Hey, an envelope. <laughs> ah, an envelope only really comes into its own when you stuff it full of banknotes. In two months, I've lost so much weight, I can't go on. I can't go on, it's burning me up, my life. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm a young man. Why should I want to die? It's him or me. It has to be one of us. Oh, you poor boy, you're in the grip of a terrible fever. We catch it from the earth, we walk on it, and then it worms its way through the soles of our shoes, up to our flesh, to our bones, and it eats and eats its way at last until it arrives in our brains. Once there, it begins to whisper, kill, kill, kill. It tells us where to strike the first time. No weapon to strike with. And then when the fever leaves us, we're facing the rest of our lives rotting in jail.